My name is Carlos Heredia. I'm a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I'm a kids coach at Crazy 88 Mixed Martial Arts. I'm currently going to UMBC. My major is political science. I teach kids all the way from ages 3 to 15. Classes run from 5 to 7. The structure is pretty set in stone. Warm up, technique, games, depending on the age, and then sparring. I'm pretty obsessed with Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> The reason he likes jiu-jitsu is the physicality. He's always been physical, even as a little kid, as a baby. He was always rough and tumble. We tried soccer, we tried football. I mean, he wanted to do tackle football, um, and then jiu-jitsu just took over. My mom and dad love that I do jiu-jitsu because of the discipline that it instills in me. You know, you have to straighten your gi, you have to straighten your belt. It's a very fierce, but also very beautiful sport. I think his father and myself really love the discipline aspect of the sport. I train six days a week, two times a day. I do strength and conditioning three times a week. Very dedicated to being healthy and just being the best athlete he can be. Instead of me going out and hanging out with my friends, drinking, getting into trouble, I'm here all day, pretty much every day. Training four or five hours a day, to working two hours a day here, to going to school, to waking up early to go do weight training. I mean, his day is so full, but he's so focused. And I never have to talk to him about, you're not doing the right thing. My very first class, I got whooped for most of the sparring that we did, and most of the technical drilling that we did during the class was very new to me. First day we came to Crazy 88, um, I did not have any concerns to be honest. At my previous gym, I was the top competitor and only competitor, quite frankly, and I was kind of cocky coming into Crazy 88, and I learned very quickly that I was barely average. A blue belt at the old gym is not the same thing as a blue belt at Crazy 88. The size of the class, so he had the ability to train with all different sizes, all different belt levels in order to get the training that he needs. And then just, like I said, the background of the, the competition team, which is what he was looking to do, was exactly what he was looking for. I was nervous about whether or not I'd be accepted here, and if so, how long it would take. I felt right at home within three to four months. After all, this is a very family-oriented gym, and in order to continue the successful run that we've had through the past couple of years, we need to keep a tight-knit family, and we can't stray away from that. I feel like he gets a lot of support from his teammates, from his coaches. Crazy 80 is different because not only is the competition level higher than most gyms, especially in the Maryland area, everybody from all different walks of life are welcomed here with open arms. A pandemic when I'm sure there were other things on the coaches' minds. The coaches were still in touch with Oscar. They gave him suggestions, things that he can do at home. It's the consistency of training, the consistency of what you're teaching, the different teammates that he has that are pushing him, and then he's pushing them. It's just lifting them, lifting everybody up to be the best and seeing those results every tournament. When I was little, both of my parents would push me when I didn't want to train. Now I'm kind of self-sustaining, so I do it on my own. But beforehand, when I was a kid, my mom and dad would both push me to keep training because one day you'll, you will get your moment. But for me as a parent, it's what jiu-jitsu has done for him as a person. My biggest accomplishment was winning the 2021 Pan American Championship. That was just, that was really something else. Obviously that's the biggest progression uh, for him in jiu-jitsu by far. And watching that happen, unfold right in front of me, it was amazing. I couldn't have been happier. I ended up having a total of four fights in the blue belt middleweight division. It was very exciting. Oscar, again, has been training for almost 12 years now. My last fight was definitely my toughest fight. It was a very close match. I ended up winning by two advantages and I ended up pulling out the win. The best advice I've received at Crazy 88 was to always be first and to not necessarily being ultra aggressive, but 
to always put it in the person's mind that you're here, you're present, and you're not going to back down to anything. Thank you.